Hello everybody. Uh, I think in this video what I'm going to do is I am going to clean my torque converter, the, dr the uh, driver, my torque converter driver which is the clamshell part that goes on the engine. Okay, I'm going to show you how to clean one here. Now the way I do it is different than what some people do it but it's pretty much all roughly the same information so I'm going to show you that here in this video. Okay, the uh, driver, which is uh, the part that goes on the engine, which is what I have right here, come with, uh, if you buy them, if you buy the driver separate from the driven, then this is what you should be getting. When you order the driver, you'll get your bolt. I don't even know what thread that is. I want to say it's 24. 28 something like that I can't remember but anyways you should get your bolt you should get these two halves of it like that and you should also get a brass sleeve that also goes right on there like that and that is what your belt should be riding on right there so when the engine is rotating and your shaft is rotating with this thing that is what your belt sits on and this should be brass the reason is is because brass helps um, well brass disperses its heat a lot faster than regular st steel does so while the belt is hitting one spot by the time it gets around by the time this gets around and hits the same spot again it has already cooled off these things don't really wear out like regular steel does it heats up faster and it cools off faster so I don't understand why they don't make heat sinks out of brass I don't quite understand why they don't because brass is a much better transfer of heat than regular steel is but anyways um, yeah so you want to make sure you have that when you order for your entire clutch setup. Another thing is, uh, so when you take it off of your engine or when you get it out of the box or whatever, technically what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be cleaning it. So um, the surface of your flat plate, now this is a Comet twenty or 30 series, so it's not going to have a tapered, it's not going to be an angled plate that goes up against the engine. If this over here is my engine, so this is a Comet 30 series. One side is angled, one side is flat. Well, technically it's like two degrees, but we're not gonna get into technicality here. So, then you've got your your weight, the, the, the clamshell piece that holds your, your weights in it. So you would have this piece, this piece, your, also your insert piece. which well maybe it comes out yeah it comes out the other way but anyways take these apart there we go that slides out this here a lot of times normally doesn't really need to be cleaned because it doesn't really get all that dirty but I'll clean it eventually uh, I'll clean it here anyways now you'll notice when you get a new when you get a new driver these weights will have this nice shiny I want to say it's nickel but I'm not not too sure it will have this nice shiny stuff all over your weights should be on this side and on the other side well, she's not coming out as easy as she normally would so what I'm gonna do here is I'm taking off I'm gonna take off the springs need a pair of needle nose pliers whatever mine are right now well technically I can just take these and lift them right up over the top there's one this one should give me enough play to get this out. 
ไปมาOkay, well this side, the shiny plating seems to be all right on this side. I can see where the wear is at. On the other side here, this is the impact point. These two sides right here are the impact points that come in contact with that. So, see how it's angled? As these things spread apart inside, they spread the clamshell apart. While that's spreading, well, technically it's over here. While that's spreading, it pushes and squeezes the belt. If you guys haven't already done any checking to see how these things work, you can do that on YouTube here. And it'll tell you all, so you can see how they operate and how they expand and stuff. But anyway, so I got these apart and you can see all of this crap that's in here and this is just build up of rust rust that's not coming from this because this is all nickel plated and stuff like that a little bit of lead in here and aluminum doped with lead or whatever however they make these things we're just going to clean this up here now what I'm using is just regular toilet paper and lacquer thinner. So I don't have any lacquer thinner on this yet. I'm just going to clean this up as much as I can. Clean the inside of these weights. Clean these slides. These things don't have to be spotless because the first time I'm, I run with this thing, chances are I'll probably pick up more grit. Anyways, there we go. I'll clean that off. For these torque converters are the clamshells inside of here there there's so much see look at that stuff that's like some type of flaked out powder that's coming out of there something's not working right so now I'm gonna clean this all up but I'm gonna wipe it down with lacquer thinner in there. See, look at that. See, torque converter should not be that gritty inside these. But it just happens, you know. These things can't can't stay clean forever. You know, road grit and this crap that comes off of it. Internal degradation, all sorts of crap. I saw somebody once 
Watts guy I knew he had a bunch of these but they, none of them worked and they were all burned out and everything and he turned them he used them for different things he used them for like wind chimes and crap now since the company went out of business I'm sure he's probably kicking himself in the ass for not actually buying the replacement parts <laughs> And one of these days, I'd like to get my hands on one of those, uh, oh, the new, those Japanese, or those Chinese torque converters that are coming out of China now. I'd like to get my hands on a set of those, one of those, and then do an evaluation of it and compare it, compare it to this, you know like the wall thicknesses of the steel in comparison to what they have that sort of thing compare it to a Comet, Comet torque converter I'd like to be able to do that one of these days but I actually got to start making money somehow off of this so this is the inside part where the belt comes in contact with. Uh, I just cleaned up one the other day and um, I had this uh, gunk that was on the steel and it was on the steel. I mean I tried to scratch it with my fingernail off and everything and it wouldn't come off. I eventually had to grab my uh, wire wheel, stick it on my grinder and wire whisk this whole surface. I was thinking about pulling out my sander or my uh, sandpaper, but that's a bad idea when it comes to these things. The reason is, is because the way these operate is this part when it's on the when the belt's riding on here and it expands and squeezes against the belt, the belt grips onto this based upon the pressure that's being put on it by the weights or the RPMs so what's happening is this is pinching the belt and that's what you want you want the friction of the belt's contact to be based upon the pinching power of the weights that are pushing it together so if I would have pulled out sandpaper and sanded this I would have created texture you don't want that. You don't want texture on this. You want this to be as smooth as glass if you can, which is pretty hard to do. But you want this to be, you don't want any texture on this because it's the texture. The texture will eventually start grabbing the belt and start burning your belt up, and that's bad. So you don't want to do that.